Okay, time for some more animation experiments with the Chroma SDK. So this time I'm using Unity 4. I had an old asset, it's deprecated now, but it's called IGSoft, the FX maker. And if I pop into here, it's got an FX maker. And I remember it had some cool laser effects that I want to grab and turn into keyboard effects. Okay, so I'll go to the FX Maker scene. Before I hit play, I'll make a prefab. So I'll create a new from SDK 2D animation. This will be the keyboard laser animation. Drag that to the project view. And save that. And now I can load this into the Chroma Particle panel. All right, that's the default one frame. And to get the laser this time, I'll need to be in play mode. There we go. And I can load the laser scene, switch to the scene view. Okay. So those are the lasers. I'll need a camera. Okay, need a camera. In this case, it can just be a solid color, black. All right, so I just drag it over here to this render camera slot. All right, so I can align with view. There we go. There's a warning about a second audio listener. I'll just remove the audio listener from our grabber. Okay, cool. And if I unpause that, there we go. Well, right away, let's see what this looks like. Uh, I'll reset and grab some frames. Okay, and if I go and select the animation, go to the first frame, it's blank, so just delete that first one. Okay, here's our animation, I can play back. Okay, cool. So now we're hooked up to grab this animation and I'll want to alter the direction of the scene view to be sideways. Go for this green stuff first. Okay, so make sure that the animation fills the screen. Okay, and then just align with the view. There we go. That's pretty uniform. Maybe zoom out a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. Uh, reset, start capturing. All right, cool. Actually, I could probably move it around while I'm catch capturing. So align it. There we go. Align with view.
Okay, so that's a way to capture a ring. Just center on a ring. Okay, so this is about putting the camera where you want it. I've got the animation selected. And that way when I'm capturing, I'm able to preview what it's capturing. Pretty cool. All right, so in this little experiment, I was using a deprecated asset, the FX Maker from EdgySoft. But really, the tool will work for any particle system. All you really have to do is just aim a camera at it and capture some frames. And you can see live what's going on. Just make sure that your animation is selected. And when you hit Start, while it's capturing, you can see a preview on your keyboard. And that'll show up in the emulator and on your device. And also, uh, let's switch over to like a mouse. There we go. The, okay, so mouse, just drag the prefab over here. And now if I reset and capture, you can see it here on the emulator. There we go, it just had a lull in the animation.
Okay, just make sure that you need Windows on top. And if I went into the player settings, Under resolution, if I made run in background and turn that on, now I can switch out of the app and it'll keep running. There we go. All right, so if I reset, start capturing, you can see the effect is now in the mouse grid. Or if I wanted to, I got a mouse pad here. If I just connect. Uh, the mouse pad, so let's see, mouse pad. I capture there. Oh, let's uh, select the animation. There we go. Now we're capturing on the mouse pad. There it goes. Here. There you go, so you can see the emulator displaying the mouse pad. All right, cool. So here you can see with the particle window, you can capture any particle system, or really anything you just aim the camera at, and then it'll grab right into the animations. And it works for 1D animations and 2D animations. Okay, and thanks for watching.